It's time for our weekly Lion Vision update with UNA head football coach Chris Willis. And Coach Willis, we're coming off of the loss to West Florida this past weekend. A tough loss, but tons of positives to take away from that ball game. Let's start offensively. Christian Lopez threw the ball very well. Damon Cox had his third consecutive game with 90 rushing yards or more. A lot of things for them to build off of heading into this week. Yeah, I mean, uh, we, we had the yardage. I mean, we, we moved the football, and we got to continue to do that. Um, the thing where we're hitting an offense on a lull is we're getting down in the somewhat close to the red zone and either we're taking a sack that knocks us out of field goal range or we're getting penalties. And I don't agree with all the penalties that are you know, thrown. You know, that, that's part of it, though. There were some penalties that were on us that, that did stand, and I thought they were right calls. But we've got to finish off the drives offensively. So, um, you know, if we can just do that, we're going to be fine. I mean, we've got to start scoring more up in the upper 20s and 30s uh, it's hard to win ball games scored in the teens. Defensively, the unit forced two turnovers. It was Chris Johnson getting his first interception of the season, a special teams turnover as well. Then on the defensive line, Aquarian Harris and Frank Williams both had strong games. What did you take away from the defense this past weekend? Well, defensively, they've been struggling a little bit at stopping the deep ball, and then they did throw another touchdown pass right there before halftime on us. Um, but I, overall, I mean, you know, they played a lot better. They kept the game in check and kept it close enough for us to win. The worst, worst drive they had was when they turned it into 24, allowing them to go down and score. But, you know, we didn't have instant replay, and the receiver catches the ball both feet out of bounds. Um, if we'd had the instant replay, that would have been overturned. And so that was a big score in the game. And, um, you know, we held them to field goal attempts, and then sometimes he missed, I think, two. So overall, I mean, they, there's some things they got to get better at, and that's each week. We just got to keep growing as a football team here. And, and, and but we had a chance. Uh, but we we had too many self-inflicted uh, things that go that were mistakes on us. And um, we got to clean that up. Keep working. Attitudes are great. The team's playing the, uh, in a locker room is in a good place. Everybody, you know, the intensity is there. We're playing hard, uh, and we'll get some good results. Sometimes we're going to have some highs. Sometimes we're going to have some lows. And this is just part of it right now. Next up, Coach, it's homecoming at Raleigh Stadium this Saturday, 6 p.m. Mississippi College comes into town with their option attack, and overall they're a much improved team from a season ago. Yeah, they're scoring points, and they're doing something nobody's seen. They haven't done the option. They didn't do it last year, and so I think everybody's having a hard time adjusting to that, and you got to practice against and It's not easy to practice against. It doesn't matter how good the team they are. Uh, two and three or, or five and oh, but at the end of the day, it's option football and you just don't see it. We see it one time all year. Uh, we've got to do a good job this week of playing your responsibilities and, and going over those things that are needed to defend the option. And our offense needs to have a good practice as well. I mean, we need to, they may have to have the defenses back this week. North Alabama back home on Saturday. It's homecoming for the University of North Alabama, 6 p.m. kickoff. We hope to see you out.